Hello and welcome to Infinity. In this video, we're going to have a look at using shapes as masks uh, and, and some subtleties and little tricks along the way. So let's do this fairly quickly here. We're going to draw a rectangle up here, over here. When I do this, I turn the opacity down so I can see what I'm doing. I'll control, roll the mouse wheel in to make sure I cover to the right corners. There we go, just that in to there. Then control zero out again. Then I'm going to convert to curves and use the node tool. I can then just grab the middle here and pull this up here. And I can also go in here and double click to set points. And then just going to create points around here. And then just pull out the sections. Drag that out. See, it makes a nice smooth curve. Just look at the corner points here. And double click there. And come out here. And is that going to do that there? Yeah, it's not bad. I can do that almost in one. There we go. And where's that one going to be? Pull the middle one out there. I got that one. Let's um, convert that to a smooth point, so which means I'm going to pull that back out because I want to get to be able to see the other one of these. Now hold on the Alt key to, so I can do a corner on that. Bring this one out. Make that a smooth one. This one here. I think I can. Oh, that's that one there. Change that to a smooth point so I can see both. There we go. And Alt. And bring that round. There we go. A bit long windy, but there we go. So, what I've got this here. Now I can use this layer here as a mask. To use it as a mask, by the way, I will turn the opacity all the way up again. That's another trick. You need to do that, otherwise you'll get a slightly transparent mask. The other thing that we're going to do, I'm going to turn this off for a moment. These tend to have hard edges. So if I, but if I look at the edge here, if I, by the time I get really into it, you can see there's a little bit of softness at the edge of the target there. So what you want to do is to put a bit of softness onto this here. So if I just leave that there and add a Gaussian blur. So add a blur and that's added then to that mask. I turn the radius up and it's basically going to soften the edge of it. I can still go to that mask, by the way, and, and adjust it. I won't do it for now. And uh, because what I want to do is go to a, an adjustment here, put in curves, and that's in the wrong place. I'll just drag it to where I want. It's going to be below. There you go. So a long horizontal bar. Now then I want to turn this into a mask drop onto the curves. If I right click this here, I want a, a mask to blow, but it's not here. So here's a trick. If I close that up, now right click, now I can see mask to blow. There you go. And now if I go to that curves adjustment, I can then turn this down. Let's show that there. There you are, and adjust that uh, with that. Also, what I can do if I want to undo that, I can right click there and go release mask. And that comes back up because you may have noticed there that the Gaussian blur, which was attached to this, when I do the mask to below, there we go, it turns into this like a single layer and you can't get to that Gaussian blur. So if you want to adjust it, you have to right click and release mask to drop it back out again. Then you can adjust the blur, then you're going to drop it back in again. So there we go. Hope that was useful and thank you very much for watching.